I would like to speak more about my learnings from this journey of UPSC. When I started UPSC uh, around 2013, that was the time I was dreaming. But somehow things came together that I cleared the exam five years later in my fifth attempt. Why do I mention that it is my fifth attempt? Because I could not qualify in the first four attempts, the prelims itself. And then this was my first, prel uh, the fifth prelims, first mains, and first interview. So there isn't anything great in the number of attempts. But the message that I want to convey to each one of you is that not necessarily success comes in the first go. Sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes you have to be patient. So coming to the part about my learnings from UPSC, I would like to divide it into three. The first is what is it that UPSC needs? So the two things that come to my mind first, UPSC needs one is perseverance and two is clarity. Today, all of you must be having some plans in mind that after college, we want to give the first attempt. This is the way we'll prepare. So two things that I want to highlight is you have a very clear vision and a very clear strategy in your mind when you decide to do UPSC. And second, very important along with this is that you start with the belief of perseverance that whatever it is, I will crack the exam. Because this exam takes a lot of time, it tests you at every level psychologically, physically, mentally, and even personally. So I think it is best that you are perseverant. The two things that I feel are needed as an aspirant. So what do you develop right now? Besides all the academic syllabus that is told to you and all the strategies which are available on websites, I would say each one of you must go for cultivating skill sets. That is what I realized in so many years. Once you start studying, your skill sets in different areas, they help you approach and study better. Second is, in all this phase, do not forget to mold your personality. Studying again and again in that rigorous process, what is lost is exploring ourselves, exploring our own talents. So I think the importance of exploring different co-curricular activities while you are preparing is equally important. Coming to the next part, what are the two things that UPSC taught me that should not be mistaken by you when you are giving your attempt? First is you believe in your dreams. Even if someone tells you that you are not meant for this field or you are not able to clear the exam and that is why you are not meant to be here, you do not listen to them. You work hard, you believe in your dreams even if someone else doesn't. And the second thing that I'd like to mention is you go for inspiration and not imitation. Today, when each one of us stands here and shares with you his or her strategy and their experiences, you don't need to have the same kind of experiences. You decide your own strategy, your own way, your own journey. Each one's journey is unique. I think all these points combined with a right temperament, a right disciplined mindset, I think these are the things which will take you forward. The only message that I'd like to convey to you today is, today if you believe in yourself, tomorrow the world will believe in you.